Okay, episode two of DreamWorks Dragons Riders of Burke. Overall, what did you think? Pretty good. Yeah. I personally liked the first one more, but... Yeah. This one assumes the regular children's TV show of uh, something bad happens, so we have to fix it, and by the end, everything's wonderful. Even though that's not how it works in the real world, but again, kid yeah. show. Yeah, kid show. It has but to have morals. Oh, Even though we're dealing with Vikings. True. They should actually watch Vikings on History Channel. Yeah. But, overall, basic summary. Uh, Gobber's out of work. I like this episode because it touches on that. Although it could have been done a little better. Yeah. Overall, due to Hiccup befriending the dragon then making and ushering in the era of peace on Burke, uh, Gobber's out of a job. Then she specialized in making weapons for killing dragons. And, and killing kill dragons. That's what I said. Well, he makes weapons and he killed dragons. He did both. That's correct, yeah. Uh, now that they don't do that, he's out of a job. He doesn't know what to do. So they go through the motions trying to find him something else to do. Uh, can't be a chief. They tried that. Yep. Yeah, uh, making saddles, uh, based on the second movie, which we've both seen again. Uh, although in the second movie his saddles were saddles instead of what they were in this episode. Uh, saddles with weapons. Yeah, he made more weapons. I mean, you don't really need another weapon, you're riding a dragon, but... Which is a living weapon, yeah. essentially. I mean, the flamethrower took it really far. And yeah. The catapults, if they had a longer arm, would have worked, but then you wouldn't have room for your butt. So, yeah. catapults are just a bad idea. And yeah, especially for the twin. Yeah. Knit and wit. And then the maces on the side, I mean, I understand um, the concept of bling, but they were basically sandbags, and the you can't fly with that. Yeah, especially with fish legs. Yeah. I, I mean, no offense to fish legs. Yeah, I like him, yeah. but he... He's a boy who likes his food. He, he is... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> a nice way to put it. Yeah. I like food like too, but look at me. Yeah. Nothing. Metabolism, I guess. Maybe it's what the Vikings eat. Yeah, and uh, what, Vikings were generally just big people. Essentially. It's especially demonstrated in this society. Yeah. Even though it's a fantasy thing, it, it's been demonstrated that Vikings are typically large people. I mean, you watch Stoic walk, his arms don't meet his sides. He's got that hulking to him, so... But Stoic is a man! Mm. I mean, he, he's very manly. Yeah, they, they really touch on the toxic masculinity traits with the masculinity, but... It's not loud. Yeah, especially with him, I mean... I'm not crying, and... Uh, and I did with Gobber, too. I mean, it, I'm chopping onions! <laughs> a little bit. Men aren't allowed to cry, and it's not, it's not allowed to like his dragon. Wait. I mean, they, they're allowed to like each other, but they're not allowed to like each other. The public displays they're, of they, affection. They're, yeah, they're just, they're, they're dancing around this issue, and also the fact with how he hits on Asterix, it's just like... Oh. oh that, that's... Future mm. episodes, you will enjoy those. I want to punch him every time he talks to her, because he is so sexist with her. Yeah, but but then again, the history part, uh, that, w yeah. that was ex expected yeah. back then. Uh, Astrid actually breaks the stereotype, uh, because back then women were supposed to do the so-called traditional yeah. thing, cooking, cleaning, raising kids. It, it's basically yeah. that. Although, it, it, actually, in Viking societies, women did have more rights than their other European counterparts. Yeah, because you kind of had to with Vikings, I mean. Yeah. Um, but, and then the twins, ju they just don't really, they're not a part of that because they're twins. You can forget that the one's a girl. Yeah. Because they're twins. Um, and that's sort of expected yeah. of twins. Except for the, with the second movie and her weird crush On issue. Eric. Yeah, that was just, ugh. It's too drama-y. <laughs> I mean, the f the, they focused on his freaking muscle for a full <laughs> scene. And she a whole got shot. all... You could tell that she was, like, moist towelette <laughs> and drooling and lusty. And he was, like, 
really creeped out, and I understood him because she was really creepy. I mean, you could not come on any stronger. In fact, that it was a kids' movie. Yeah. Although it was. I mean, they have to add some adult humor yeah. because adults are going to be watching it with their kids. Yeah. But like, you're teaching kids something they shouldn't know. There. Yeah. They could have done it a little more subtler. Now, yeah. given. Th they could have stopped with the little muscle. Thing. I mean, they could have done a little less. Um. The 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 obsession was enough. I mean. Yeah. Although. Given she was nineteen, twenty years old yeah. in the second movie, so by that point they were young adults rather than just teenagers. Yeah, I, as in this episode. Yeah, and, and here. But overall, back on track. Second yeah. episode, uh, Viking for Hire, a fairly good episode. Not the best. Again, I'm going off the whole series since I've seen it. You haven't. Uh, what do you? You said what you thought of it, didn't you? Uh. Mm. We're just winging this by ear. Yeah. We we don't have a script. So they continued slapstick comedy, which is their feature. Yep, uh, actually, uh, a lot more than in the first movie. Yeah, the, well, it's a, it's a TV show, For so kids. it it's um, it's short lived, it's fast paced. Yeah, they gotta keep the kids entertained. Yeah, the short attention span. I know how that so is. So there's gonna be a lot them. of slapstick comedy, especially with the injury. Um. Kids, kids find it really funny when you get hurt, so they're gonna really feed off of that. So especially with like the twins it's not and loud. Gobber hitting himself with the head with a hammer, constantly. I mean, I realize well, he's, he's jogging his head, but it's dangerous. Yeah, it is a hammer. Yeah, and the mace to kill the fly, that was slapstick right there. That was overkill. Yeah. Also good for removing unwanted furniture. And, and and then the fly flies off, and it's yeah, just like... Yeah, the fly's like, not dead. You missed. Yeah. Just have to shoot the dang fly. Mm-hmm. Although that might... Dragons would probably eat the fly. Yeah, those definitely the terrible terrors. Yep. But, overall, in the end, everything's all hunky-dory. Uh, status quo, generally restored. Uh, they, the second movie actually did take something from this episode. In the second movie, we see Gobber fit, putting a prosthetic tooth into the head of a zippleback. In this one, we sort of see the same thing. He's got a job as a, job as a dentist. I mean, they yeah. even hung a giant dragon tooth above his uh, yeah. door as his uh, shingle. Yeah. Uh, and that is, as I told you while we were watching the episode, that is some history in the making. Uh, back then, back during this time period, uh, Blacksmith actually had the most important job, which is uh, a bit of a myth in this episode. Even though they didn't need the weapons to kill, the Blacksmith were very widely used. The nails, tools, since this is shown to be a farming uh, sort of society. I mean, he'd make plow heads. Yeah, uh, plow heads, uh, very really tools, touch pitch on. But yeah, he, he would, yeah. Yeah, so. He can't survive without a blacksmith, so he wouldn't technically be out of a job, so they focus too much on the weapon side. Yeah. But. Vikings. Uh, Vikings, kid show. Yeah. They have to keep it small and simple because six-year-olds can't think that much about... We're, we're what, I'm 18, you're what, 19? Yeah. So we think about it from the adult standpoint, but they're thinking to catering towards kids, and kids aren't going to think about the 20 million jobs that a blacksmith has. Yeah, but then again, we're 18, 19 years old, and we're watching a children's show. What That's because that we're about? millennials. Um, True. True. The 90s gave us to, so many great today, TV so. shows that we just can't get enough. Yeah, although the comedy is very good. Yeah. Comedy is actually a bit better than in the first movie. first movie had some, but this, is, this goes up to the ceiling. Yeah. So, uh, that's it. Anything else to add? No. Nope. Okay, well, we'll end it here. Uh, we'll go on to the next episode, Animal House. I think that's what it's called. Eh, we'll figure Something it out. Something like that. Yep. <laughs>